Hello and welcome. There's a cop coming and I'm on the lot. Not for me though, hopefully. And uh, we're on the lot today at Chevy. And we're gonna take a look at a $70,000 Chevy Tahoe diesel. It's kind of a homecoming for the Sonic today. It's eight years old, still looking good. This is where it started its life and it's back. 64,700 miles or so. Anyhow, we're not here to look at that. We're here to look at this Tahoe. Can you believe these things are 70 grand? And by the way, this thing only has the diesel as an option. There are plenty of other options that can raise the price of this. It's huge. Let me tell you what, this is chest high right here. This is chest high. These are 20 inch Continentals. I do not know what they cost to replace. They're a, uh, what are they? Uh, cross contacts all right eco plus because of the diesel that's super wonderful i just feel so warm and fuzzy about that they are 275 60r20s <laughs> all right awesome gigantic brakes in there uh that should be painted i think that would look better uh we got the side rail on it it has auto fold mirrors they don't have that turned on they should i actually don't like the chrome cap on it um i think it looks kind of gaudy personally Especially on this black one. Not a fan of it. Uh, we'll get to the numbers here in a minute. This thing. All right. <laughs> you got the automatic uh, door openers. It has a hands-free lift gate, which is pretty nice. I have that on the Escape. I like it. I think it's super convenient when you have something in your hand. This is the only way you're going to know this is a diesel because of right here. They put this on it. Otherwise, nobody lets you know. I will tell you, I looked this up on the car dealer. It doesn't even say it on the dealer site. It says three liter inline six turbo. <laughs> that's what it says. So that's pretty good. 277 horsepower out of this, which is the lowest of the three engine choices you can get. Look at even the tank is gigantic. Look how big it is. Is it neat? Oh, you know why? I bet there's a DEF back there. Will it open? Yeah, there is. Okay. Diesel, right? DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. That has to be filled up. Also, usually it'll go in oil change on these, uh, but if not, you can purchase DEF, by the way, in a two and a half gallon jug, okay, at any truck stop. So you can get it that way, because it's not offered at the pump. It is when you have a semi, because you use more of it. A semi will run through a gallon per 100 to 150 miles. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just really big. I just can't take it. That's what she said. Yikes, no nitrogen. I'm surprised that it didn't do the nitrogen on it of all of all vehicles to put that in. They could add, uh, you know, 40 bucks of nitrogen for the thing. Incredible. Let's take a look at some numbers, all right? Let's take a look at some numbers on this thing. Where are we with the numbers? First off, where is this thing made? Well, we only have 46% U.S. content, which is kind of disappointing. 38% Mexico, but the thing is made here. Arlington, Texas, engine and transmission are made here. Now, here we go. We are at uh, 67,690 on this, all right? The only option is the diesel for a thousand bucks. That's it. And uh, with the numbers like this, 2026, and a car and driver tr uh, tried one of these, and they got 27 miles to gallon at a steady 75 miles per hour. That's pretty good, all right? Pretty good. We get OnStar with this, of course, XM radio. It has uh, heated and cooled seats. It has heated rear seats. The third row is powerful. It's got all these electronic uh, blind spot and all that stuff on it. As usual, uh, people don't know this. This diesel also has an electric heater, a toaster type heater, because diesels don't put a lot of heat out in the wintertime. And if people are concerned about this, you get a wired heat um, resist. They call it resistor heat in this thing to blow hot air out at you if uh, you need it. So it's got like an auxiliary heater in it, only in the diesels in these. This is the first one I've seen. I don't think I'll see that many more of these because people just are not getting them. It's going to be tough sell in the United States to get people this. It has about the same tow rating as a gas one. And uh, 0 to 60, 7.8 seconds, which I'll tell you is not bad for something that's 6, 000, uh, over 6,000 pounds. Not terrible at all. Ironically, the sale price on it is uh, 69990 If you see that, that is more than the sticker price for some reason. We have a sticker of 67890 So I don't know what they're trying to do with that, uh, Dilio. Hey, look, it's on sale for more than the sticker price. 
they actually could be doing that, I suppose. They could increase the price because uh, that's not illegal. LED headlight and tail light, which are okay. But remember, in the wintertime, as I tell people, LED lights do not have any heat. Chevy does not heat them. Some places do heat them. Chevy doesn't. <laughs> and look at that. It's got a Chevy logo in it. Isn't that pretty awesome in the light? That way, when you replace it, you got to make sure to get a Chevy one. Otherwise, uh, you'll get in trouble. Actually, you won't get in any trouble, but good luck finding one. It's uh, plastic. It's kind of disappointing considering how much this thing costs. But uh, that's the story with it. No fog lights either. I'm sort of disappointed at that too. Uh, 70 grand on sale for more than sticker. Diesel-powered Tahoe. And uh, there you go. So are you in for one? I don't know. This one's four-wheel drive. You can get a two-wheel drive one also. So let me know, and uh, we'll see you next on The Lot.